Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm so excited uh, for another week to rock our businesses. Another week that we can really show up and start making it happen. So you guys say hi as you're logging in. Let me know that you're here, that you're with me. And I'm just going to get set up for a second. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. I'm just going to check, make sure that I am actually live in the group say hi to me let me know that you're here okay there i am so hey Faye. so guys can you hear me uh some a couple people told me that last week was a little quiet so make sure i'll try to talk louder but i want to make sure you guys can hear me hey layla okay so guys hi rosie good morning hey laquay happy monday Joyce sneaking in at work. Yes, love it. Okay, you guys, so I I am so blown away with you guys. Um, like over the past two months, <laughs> and especially last week, like so many amazing things have happened here in this group. And I'm still like, I'm just blown away. Like I, I just want to like pinch myself and make sure that this is real you guys you just last week you guys you kept me so busy but like in a totally good totally awesome way and if you haven't watched the the webinar from last week go watch it like it's a must see because the one funnel away challenge has rocked my world and if you are struggling in your business i i want you to at least go see what it's about okay i'm going to shift um, a tiny bit today and be talking about how to find your dream customers, your dream clients, your dream business partners, your dream affiliates, whatever it is that you're selling, how to find the right people to for, for, for whatever it is that you're selling. So let's see. Layla says it is a little low volume than usual. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why, but I hope you guys can hear me. I've got my microphone right here. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to have to talk really loud. <laughs> hey, Lynette. Hey, Maria. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Sandra. The volume is okay. Faye says the morning is... Hey, Jessica. The volume is okay. So uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay, I want to get started uh, because we've really got to get this piece right, okay? We can create the best, you know, the prettiest, the coolest funnels in the world, right? But if we can't find the right people to fill those funnels, like we're either going to fail, right? We're not going to make any money. Um, or maybe we'll make money, but we're not going to enjoy our business. Maybe we're going to get burnt out. Okay. We have to find the right people to put into our funnels. Lynette says, I turned my volume up. <laughs> yeah, I got to figure it out. I don't understand what's up with my microphone, uh, but I will try to figure that out. Okay. Um, hey, Katie. So last year I spent 25 thousand dollars I've told you guys this in one year I spent twenty five thousand dollars in high-end coaches programs like whatever right I just throwing money at my problems and I learned I learned a lot about funnels I really did I everything I, I know about funnels um, you know the technical piece you know how to get them to convert I, I learned a lot of that last year and I had this funnel I was working with this um, business coach very high-end business coach cost me a lot of money and I had this funnel. I built this funnel. It was a webinar funnel and it was converting and I was getting clients. Like I sold, I was selling at the time I was selling a, a coaching package, like a premium coaching package that cost $2,000. Hey you guys, uh, hashtag burnout too much time wasted chasing the wrong people. Yes, Lynette. Oh, <laughs> Jessica, you crack me up. I'm sorry. I, I, I have a nice, I, okay. I'll figure out the volume problem. I promise by next week it will be better. Sit, hi, Sydney. Okay. Okay. <laughs> turn up your volume and then I'll try to remember, remind you to turn it down when we're done. Okay. So I was selling this, um, this coaching package, right? And it was a 90 day program and I was selling it for $2,000. And I had this, this webinar funnel and it was converting like crazy. Um, I went from, I went from zero clients uh, to 10 clients, like almost overnight. Like it was within a few weeks, I went from nothing to, to, to full on, right? And it was this 90 day program that I was selling. 
So um, you can do the math on what I was making at that time. I was miserable, you guys. <laughs> I was miserable. Like I was working so hard. Uh, I didn't have, I, I didn't really enjoy the people that I was working with. Uh, they were definitely the wrong people for where what I was doing, how I was doing it, and it was like never ending. And even though I was making money, like I didn't enjoy getting up in the morning like I do now. Like I would never like be happy on a Monday <laughs> like I am now. Like I did not have the right people in my program. And so I ended up shutting it down. And um, at that same time, I was just getting into network marketing. Hey, Julie. Chrissy says, did you go from zero to 10 using a funnel? I did, right? I did. So at that same time, like hashtag burnout, <laughs> just like, just like you guys said, um, that is exactly what I was. So I was making money, right? I should have been happy. I thought that's what I wanted was money. And so at that same time, like I'm really in burnout from, from my coaching program. I had, I just turned off the funnel. I was like, please don't, don't bring me any more people. Like I, I, I don't want them. And at that same time, I was getting into network marketing and it, as like a way to solve that problem, right? So I had me a funnel and I got, I got immediately got people into the funnel, joining my team and I was, I was super excited, right? Except nobody was getting results except me. <laughs> um, so that funnel, I was not talking to the right people for me in that funnel. I was the only one that was getting success and so I stopped my funnel, right? And I had to get really clear on a couple of things. And that has, is what has shifted in my business is that now I'm talking to, to the right people, okay? So I had to get really clear and you need to get really clear in your business as well who you wanna work with and who you don't, okay? So now that I'm really clear on who I wanna work with and who I don't, you can, I design my funnels now to attract those people and repel everybody else. Like not in a bad way, like you're like, you're just not the right person for me. Okay. I want the right people for me. And you guys, when you can shift to, you get the people who you want to work with, who are going to get results, who are going to show up, put in the work. Um, those are the people that make you want to get out of bed on a Monday. <laughs> right? So whether you guys use funnels or not, the first step in your business needs to be getting really clear on the who, who you want to work with. Okay. Yeah, Julie says, you don't want just anyone. My hubby says, Lynette says, my hubby says I'm not allowed to say 90 days around him, LOL. Ben says, I stopped my funnel today. I was not getting any results. Okay, yeah, so all right. Here's what happens if you're not really clear on this, right? Like I said, you're gonna get burnout, right? I got burnout, big time. You didn't make, I don't, you don't, you won't make any money, right? Because you're not attracting the right people who you have, who you have the solution for these people, but you're not attracting the people that have the problem you can solve, right? Or you're unhappy, drained, unfulfilled, that was me, right? Or your people, like you could fill your funnels, like I did, filled out my coaching program, got people into my network marketing team, and they didn't get results because they weren't the right people for what I had to offer, right? And then you end up chasing clients all the time. And I remember having to like just beg people to, to, to do something, to show up in their business, to do the work. And it was not fun. <laughs> it was not fun. Okay. So let's get to it. Like that sounds great, right? Let's fill my programs. Let's fill my, let's sell all my products to the right people. How does that happen? Layla says, and you so wanted to change the energy to a more positive vibe. Yes. Lynette says, repel is okay. Attract saves time and money. Yes, absolutely. This is so true, right? So, I'm, I'm about to drop four questions that you need to get clarity on in your business like yesterday, okay? The more selective you are um, in the way that I'm gonna explain it, the better you're gonna do, okay? The better I do now, okay? And by no means, before I get into this, I just wanna put this out there, like by no means am I telling you that you can only work with one type of person. Um, but what I am telling you is that you should know who you want to attract and who you want to repel in every single funnel that you build um, or every single message, every single piece of content, however you're, you're attracting people to work with you or to buy from you, you should know that in that piece of content, that funnel, whatever it is, that you're talking to one person, okay? One funnel for one person with one offer, you know, and then you rinse and repeat, okay? So I work with multiple types of people, but each one of my funnels is designed specifically for one person, 
and I know exactly in that funnel who I want to attract and who I want to repel, okay? So, uh, Faye says, been there too, and it's really not fun. It's really not fun. It's so draining, you guys. Um, I, my husband, <laughs> he, he's not an entrepreneur at all, but like when I had my, my high-end coaching program, and I had a couple of clients who paid me $2,000, and they literally didn't even hardly show up. And my husband's like, that's so cool, right? You, 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 they paid you $2,000 and then they didn't, you didn't even have to help them. Like they didn't even show up. And I'm like, that's not what I want, right? Do you think they're going to come back and hire me again? Do you think they're going to write me a testimonial? Do you think like they're going to rave about me? No, like I want people who are going to get results. Okay. So sorry, that was a little tangent there. Good morning, Julianne. Okay, Chrissy, no problem. Yeah, you can catch the replay. Okay. So four questions that I want you to get really clear on. Okay, so somebody, Lynette, you're like, you're the best at this. So you write them down, okay? Number one, who is your dream customer, client, business partner, affiliate, whatever it is, you know, what, fill in the blank. Who is your dream person, okay? Who do you actually want to work with? <laughs> uh, because chances are that you're going to be working with these people every day. When I have someone, you know, join my network marketing team or I have someone join my group coaching program or I bring on a new ClickFunnels affiliate, like I'm working with them more than I'm interacting with my, my friends and most of my family, right? I spend time with them. I, I, they're messaging me. I'm helping them, right? I do not want to work with someone that I don't like. I don't want to work with someone who, you know, is not motivated. So if you, have you ever, like someone tell me in the comments, have you ever worked with someone that you just didn't vibe with that was just totally on a different playing field than you? Like, oh my goodness, it's not fun. Okay. So for, you know, for example, like in my network marketing business, this is just one example. Okay. Who do I want to attract? Who do I want to work with? Who is my dream person? Okay. And I, you just write it down. Like, I want to work with someone who, who's motivated and who can stand on their own two feet, okay? I'm not going to build your funnel for you. I'm not going to post on your social media for you. I'm not going to build your program for you. I'm not going to build your team for you, right? I need someone who's going to stand on their own two feet. I want someone who's already in the entrepreneurial mindset, okay? I know that that's who I want, right? Uh, who I don't want. I don't want blame pushers. Like, no thank you, okay? I've had people be nasty to me because they didn't get the results that they wanted. Okay. I don't want blame pushers. Like you have to do the work. Like if you're not willing to, to show up and do the work, please, please do not join my team. Please do not buy a product from me and then harass me. Please do not join click funnels. Right. I don't want you like, we're not a good fit. Right. Um, and let's just go. Yes. Julian says, look, Le Quay says, absolutely. Kaylee says, yes scarcity mode in the beginning. Yeah, we're going to talk about that because that was totally me, right? Let's sell that everyone just to make a few bucks, right? But you guys, I have spent hours, hours on the phone talking to people, trying to convince them that my network marketing business is not a pyramid scheme. Guys, I don't want people who think it's a pyramid scheme. That's not who I want at all. Like they're just not my people. Okay. So no more of that ever. Right. And for, um, you know, for my ClickFunnels side of the business, like I have spent hours trying to convince people that that ClickFunnels was better than, than lead pages. I'm done with that. Like I just don't need that in my life, right? I'm not I'm not chasing people anymore, okay? And you know, the other you know piece of it is like I don't want anyone who doesn't understand and fully commit that it takes time and it takes money to make money, right? So if you're not resourceful enough to, to come up with money or to be, be willing to spend it and invest in your business, you're probably, you know, you're probably not going to want to build a funnel, which is why people, you know, people are attracted to me because of funnels, but if you're not willing to invest in it, you're probably not going to invest, you know, have, be able to keep it up and running, right? You know, I'm not saying you have to have a ton of money, but you have to be resourceful, right? I've had people who have gone out and made sales before their two week trial is over. I've had people on my network marketing team who have sold like their personal belongings. Like they went in, in their closet, picked out some stuff to sell and went and sold it to get started. Like they get it, right? And so the more clear I can be in my messaging, in my funnels, the way I talk, 
then I will no longer attract the people who who are like, I'm not spending that kind of money, right? <laughs> so you have to get really clear. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're selling. You have to get really clear on who is going to, is going to um, who you want to work with, right? Who you want to sell to. And even like customers, for those of you who are selling products, how many times have you, had, have you sold a product to somebody and then I just got a message from someone I sold long, long time ago before I got this and they're like asking me for refunds. Like for someone I worked with three months ago and they're, they're messaging me complaining and wanting a refund on their product that they purchased. Like, no thank you, I'm over it, I'm done with that, right? So get really clear on who you wanna work with, okay? That's question number one. Question number two, right? So now we're totally clear. Like I want people who are in that entrepreneurial mindset, they're, they, um, they get it that they have to, to um, invest in their business. They, they're willing to stand on their own two feet. They, you know, they've put in, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, and they're not afraid to do it again. So whoever that person is for you, great. Now we know who they are. Well, what the next question is, where can you find them? Question number two, where can you find those people, right? Those dreamy clients that you're never going to have to chase. So if, who here is struggling to find their dream people? Chrissy says, I love these boundaries, high standards, living the dream. Layla says, I cleaned houses just to pay for my first coach three years ago. You get it, right? You get it. Hey, Brittany, I'm so glad you could show up for a live. Uh, Chrissy says, I'm going through that now, selling to the wrong clients. I have to spend hours on the phone. Oh my gosh, I was there. You know, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. Absolutely. So me, me, me. I see him coming in, right? So if you are struggling to find your dream people, because I was too, guys, if you're str struggling, then you probably don't have as much clarity as you think you do on question number one, okay? Because once you get really clear on who they are and who they are not, then finding them really isn't that difficult, okay? People congregate together, okay? If they have this, people who have the same problem or people who have the same dream, they, they, they congregate together. They're already together. I promise you that. So, you know, I mean, I'll go through some examples, but your dream people are already somewhere. They're hanging out together and you can find them, okay? Whatever, whoever they are. I don't care if they are dog trainers who train only Doberman Pinchers. I don't care how specific it is. They are out there somewhere. <laughs> I promise you, like I've seen it. I've, I've seen it, okay? So once you get really clear on question number one, then it's just finding out like, are they on Facebook? Or are they on Snapchat, right? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Pinterest? What are they searching for? What keywords are they searching for? Who are they already following, right? What blogs, what books, what podcasts are they already consuming, okay? Because they are, I guarantee, people with the right kind of people who want and they're actually willing to do the work to get the results, they are already trying to solve their problem. <laughs> so they're already, they're already trying. Like, so for example, let's just keep using my network marketing business as an example. Like I have kind of two target audiences, okay? My biggest one is entrepreneurs who are, you know, they're looking for an additional income stream, but they, they might not have the time to build it or they don't know which one is best. They don't know, you know, they just, they want an additional income stream because they know that's a smart thing to do, but they just don't know which one to pick, right? That's my biggest target audience. My second one is network marketers who are struggling because they don't have the systems and the tools in place to grow and duplicate, okay? Those are my two target audiences. So I'm gonna ask myself, where are they hanging out? And I look at them one at a time. Remember, one funnel, one person, one problem, <laughs> one offer, <laughs> okay? so. If I, let's just use the, the network marketers, right? So if I'm looking for network marketers who are struggling, you guys, they're hanging out together in other groups. They're in, uh, they're in chats together. They're reading the blogs of these people. They're following certain people, right? So they're already trying to solve their problems. They are already hanging out together, and so now I just need to get in front of them, okay? Entrepreneurs who are looking for an additional income stream, they're already searching for the for multiple income streams, passive income streams, residual income. Like they're already looking for this stuff, okay? So that's um, question number two. 
is where can you find them, okay? And if you, if you are struggling with this, then go back to question number one and get more clarity on who your dream person is. Chris, Christine says, actually not hard to find them, but they are in Facebook groups with a lot of rules about, yeah, we're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? Because that, that's, uh, that's something that I hear a lot, right? Yeah, totally, Rosie, totally. They're not quality clients, okay. Brittany says, I have so many different things I want to do. I just can't stick to one thing. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about that. Yes, okay. So, um. That was question number two, where can you find them? Okay, so now, this is gonna get into to your question, Christine. This is how, um, we're gonna talk about a little bit about, so now you found the people, right? Christine says it's not that hard, and it's not. Um, so now you found the people, okay? So these people are, they're congregating together and they're already working to, to, to try to solve their problem that you can help them with, okay? They don't know you, they don't know about your solution, but they're already doing something, right? So now the third question is, what bait can you use to attract them and repel everybody else, okay? So whoever you want to work with, right? Um, whoever, you know, your business solves problems, I'm assuming. Everybody's business solves a problem for people. Like, they have a problem, okay? If you sell weight loss, you know, you, you know, your people, I'm assuming, <laughs> have a problem with weight, right? Um, and here's the deal. Like, they're already trying to lose the weight, right? Uh, so, you you guys, I'm telling you this. This is a lesson I learned. I already kind of hinted at it. Like, you don't want the people who aren't even aware that they have the problem, like the weight problem, right? Um, or maybe they're aware that they're overweight, but they have no desire. They're not motivated. They're, they're, they don't want to do anything about it right now. Like, I don't want to convince people that they need to leave their 9 to 5 job and start their own business. I don't want to do that. Like, I want the people who are already wanting to do that, right? They're already trying. I don't want to convince an entrepreneur that passive income through network marketing is a smart income stream. Like, I want those who are already looking for more passive, like, to be more passive income streams and be more strategic, right? So, you want the people who are already trying to solve the problem. I cannot <laughs> hammer that enough because those are the people who are going to show up, do the work, get the results, right? Um, so, here they are, and let's just go with the weight loss, right? They're trying to lose weight, okay? So, they're probably trying another program or following a diet plan, or they're using somebody else's products, right? So for, um, for my network marketing team, right? If my funnel is going to work, like I'm looking for entrepreneurs who want to build a, like multiple income streams. I want them to already know that, that having multiple income streams is like a dang smart thing to do, right? So maybe they're already looking, maybe they're trying, maybe they're like looking into investments, right? Maybe they're, um, you know, maybe they're trying to write a book. Like maybe they're trying to to add on like an additional service, you know, they're looking, right? Maybe they've already tried network marketing, but it didn't work out for them. Or they, it was, you know, they didn't have the system that I have, right? So now we found the people and we know that they're already trying to solve this problem. So now what we need to do is snag their attention, right? Because we got to pull them away a little bit from what they're already trying to do, okay? So if you're they're trying to lose weight and you found them because they're in Weight Watchers, now we need to snag their attention enough to draw their attention away from Weight Watchers and into your program, your products, whatever, right? So I need to, like for, for my example, if, if an entrepreneur is trying to get into investing their money, I need to pull their attention away from investing their money and show them that joining a network marketing team is a strategic way to build passive income stream, a passive income stream and a financial asset, right? So I need to, they're already trying, right? They're already in a vehicle that they think is going to get them the results, right? They're giving it their, their best, okay? So we need to convince them that your solution product service is better, but we need to hook them to get their attention, right? Okay, so like for example, let's say I want to attract struggling network marketers and I want them to either join my team or or join me as an affiliate for ClickFunnels, okay? So I find where they are, because they're already hanging out together, right? They're following the, the same people, they're reading the same books, they're listening to the same podcast, right? So I just need to get in front of them, okay? And I find where they are and I talk about my vehicle, okay? I do not have to drop links, I do not have to be promote, promoting myself all the time or being spammy, I just get in front of them and I provide some value, um, I share my story and I show my results. Those are the three keys. Every time, and it's strategic, right? I'm not just in there talking about 
um, how much it sucks to, to sell to friends and family. I'm not, I'm not in there. I'm, I'm not in there talking about my, my dog or, you know, I'm, I'm very strategic with my content, but those are the three keys. You provide value, you share your story and you share results. Those are the three things. Rosie says, yes, this worked. Uh, uh oh, I lost you. Is it just me? Um, okay. Hopefully I'm still live. You guys, sorry about that. Layla says, I repel a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah, Kaylee says, that's why you comment on their posts and build a relationship and add value. Yeah, absolutely, you guys. I have used this exact method and my Facebook group has grown completely from this method, okay? And I do not have to... Christy says, yeah, what bait can you use to attract them? Yeah, so question number three is, is what bait can you use to attract them? Okay, so now you found them. They're already trying to solve their problem, but we need to snag their attention, right? So... That's how we do it, right? So every, th every piece of content that I put out, every comment, every um, I'm, I'm looking at it from a strategic way, right? And I don't have to drop my links. I can just show up for them, provide value. Like, so for instance, I show up in a network marketing group of struggling network marketers. They're hanging out together, trying to, to figure this out. And I start talking about funnels. I start talking about pre-qualifying their leads. I start talking about these things. And I don't even have to drop, drop a link because they're going to friend request me. They are going to come over to my profile. My profile is set up strategically to drive them to my Facebook group. My Facebook group is set up strategically to drive them to an offer, right? So we need to snag their attention and we do it through providing value, like actually trying to help people without wanting something in return. We share our story. Story is the most valuable thing that you own, right? And we um, share results. Those are the three things that will attract people, okay? And then we can provide them some bait, right? I have lots of free things that you can come and get value from, and I help you without asking for your credit card, right? So you can have bait that draws people in and allows you to nurture them and warm that relationship up, okay? So, like, um, you know, same for like, I'll give you some exa examples. Like, you know, entrepreneurs who are looking for an additional income stream. Like I just show up and I tell my story about how funnels and automation have allowed me to have five different income streams working 25 hours a week, okay? How is that for a hook? Five income streams working 25 hours a week through funnels and automation. It's a hook, right? People are gonna be like, what the heck? I wanna learn some more about that, okay? For weight loss, you know, you might find people who are doing Weight Watchers, as an example. So now you show up for those people, they're still struggling, even though they're in Weight Watchers, right? Because that's why they're there, that's why they're interacting. So now you show up and you talk about keto, or you talk about weightlifting, or you talk about, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're selling, right? Story, value, results. And that is how you, you hook their attention, okay? Now obviously, when you're into paid advertising, you're targeting these same people, you're gonna hook them with your story, right? You're gonna give them an offer. But when you're doing it organically, it's the same process, guys, it's the same process, okay? So that's number three, is how can you hook their attention? Because they're already in another vehicle, right? You want them to get out of their vehicle and get into your vehicle. So you have to, to show them, you have to provide value to them so that that happens, so that they get out of their vehicle and they get into yours, okay? So that's number three. Number four. What results do you want them to have, okay? You gotta wrap your head around this one. Um, your business, the purpose of your business is the transformation that you provide other people. It is the results that you can get for your clients, your customers, your business partners, your affiliates, whatever it is that you do. It's not about anything else except that. And when you can actually get your mindset wrapped around the results that you want for other people, this is where things will change. Because now the question becomes, how can you serve them at the highest level to get them to the results that they desire and that you desire for them? Let's see, Ellen says, so many webinars give 60% talking about the product is so awesome and that only works and that it works and then you give 40% of good information if you're lucky. Yeah, totally. Um, Totally, you gotta, you gotta provide value for people, right? Um, okay, so 
now that you want you know you're really clear on the results that you can get for them and I'm not talking about like if you're selling weight loss weight loss is not actually the result right it's not the transformation it's what their life looks like afterwards you know for me like when I offer business opportunities for people it's not so that they can make money right it's what the money can do for them what, what kind of things how their life will look like when they get those results okay so really get clear on the results because if you're in weight loss and I, I just go to that example because it's easy right if you're in weight loss and your goal is just to push more products like are you truly serving your people like if I want to just bring people into my network marketing team or to click funnels or to my coaching programs just so I can make money are they going to get results okay do you have their ultimate goals in mind okay so for example I like I know that the best way I can serve my dream clients my dream business partner my you know my person is to give them the systems and the tools and the training they need to build or scale their businesses with funnels because funnels is my thing right to make it easy to make it duplicate as duplicatable as possible for them and that's not gonna be cheap right it's not gonna be cheap um, but when I can show them the ultimate result that I want for them right money is no longer an issue okay and so when it comes time to for me to like start telling them what the investment looks like for the cost of click funnels and the cost of ads and all that like they're not looking at me like I've lost my mind right they're looking at me like okay why haven't you taken my credit card yet like why haven't we gotten started this is when it's no more chasing because number one I know who that person is that I want to work with right number two I know where to find them number three I know how to hook their attention and number four I'm so focused on their results that the price is no longer an issue right so I was working with um, I'll tell this little story because I think it's it's another good example like uh, I was working with a client of mine who who wanted a funnel to to sell makeup like she sells makeup that's her product right so I asked her like who do you want to sell your makeup to who do you want to sell your product to right and it was like women okay what type of women uh, women who wear makeup right okay I'm a woman who wears makeup why am I gonna buy your makeup that costs more than the makeup I could get at Target right and the answer was well it's higher quality okay why does higher quality makeup matter to me right what results do you want for me when I buy your makeup right when I wear your makeup when I use your makeup there was no answer <laughs> she didn't have an answer right so I said okay sell me your makeup like give me your pitch right and she couldn't she couldn't so for me I wear makeup because I'm on camera a lot right um, I'm an entrepreneur who does a lot of videos okay and I know very little about makeup I know very little about hair all that kind of stuff right um, so I would be an easy sell on your makeup if you could show me that your makeup would make me look better on camera right so then design a funnel for a female entrepreneur who wants to look better on camera and sell your darn makeup to them right look at the result that you want for them the result that they want for themselves right so do you see the difference like when you when you know the results of a very specific person okay and that's one funnel that's, I'm not saying that you only sell your makeup to entrepreneurs who are on camera right but in one funnel you can hit those pain points you can hit the desire right you can you can make it so focused on the results that money is no longer an issue right and then you can take another funnel and you can sell it to health conscious women who they want those higher quality ingredients right because you know those pain points right and then you could sell it to executive women who who go to a lot of meetings but they don't have they want to look great at these meetings but they don't have a lot of time to do touch up in between meetings right so very specific results for a very specific person and now she can go and sell her makeup as much as she wants because she's after the results of a very specific person Layla says or how do I do my makeup without having to spend two hours doing so right yeah makeup's not my thing like <laughs> but I, I would be an easy sell but you know if, if you all you do is come in and say here's my makeup like no that's not gonna work for me right so understanding the answers to those questions will attract the people that you want your dream people your customers clients business partners affiliates uh, whatever and repel everyone else okay so I know some really great makeup for you I love makeup 
Yeah, so I mean, it, it's not hard. This isn't hard. You just have to get really specific, okay? So for me, I know that funnels aren't for everyone. I know that. Not everyone wants to do network marketing either. Not everyone wants to do affiliate marketing. That's fine. That's great. Like, actually, that's really good. Like, I don't want those people coming into my funnels. I don't want them buying my stuff. I don't want them not getting results, right? Or wasting my time or wasting their own time, right? Like, yeah, Kayla says, makeup is my thing. <laughs> Yeah, see, you see what I mean? Like, so like I have people right now who are, who have already left their current MLMs to join mine or they're considering it, right? Because I've gotten really good at this, this process. Like I know what they want. I know where they're struggling. And I have literally built my offers around those two things, what they want and why they can't get there. Like what's keeping them, okay? Um, same, I mean, that, that's, that's the key here, right? I get messages now day in and day out. Like I, so many that I can't keep up. Like you guys, if you've sent me a message and I haven't replied, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's that I am flooded with messages. Okay. I haven't had to convince anyone in months, right? My, my network marketing business is growing like wildfire. Like I just brought in two new business partners yesterday and they're the right kind of people, right? Um, and that's happening every week, right? And I, and last week for you guys, you, if you watch the webinar, like, you know, I opened up the one funnel away challenge to 50 people and almost 30 of those are full and another 10 are in the process of getting their funds together right now in one week with no convincing, no complaints about money, uh, no complaints about the time or is this going to work for me? You know, show me, convince me. No, thank you. Right. It's full of people who want this, full of people who took the action to sign up or to reach out to me. Like I didn't have to reach out to a single person and that is a lot different than not too long ago, right? And it's because I understand this concept now, right? My dream uh, customers, my dream clients, my dream affiliates and my dream business partners are all, they're out there, right? They are looking right now as we speak for what I have, what I bring to the table, what I can offer, right? I just need to get the perfect message in front of those perfect people. And they're already hanging out together. They're following the same people. They're making it easy for me. And it's the same for you. Your perfect people are hanging out together, trying to solve the problem that you can help them with. They don't even know that you exist yet, but they're, they're already there. Like this isn't complicated, right? So, hey, Melissa, no problem. You can watch the replay. Kaylee says, Amazing. One of them is me. That, right? This works, you guys. It, it works and it's not complicated because I'm focused on those four questions. I'm focused on those four questions and I design all of my funnels around it. Like the actual funnel, like I talk funnels all the time, right? But the actual funnel is just the delivery mechanism, right? You have to, you have to understand about the psychology behind the sale. Like you have to shift your mindset to care more about the result of your tribe than the dollar that you make. And when you do that, your tribe comes, like, right? You have to understand who they are and what they want and what they've already tried so that you can show them through your story, through your journey, right? Through your results that your vehicle is better than the vehicles that they're in now or all the vehicles that they've been in before, right? Does that make sense? Like I grew this, this Facebook group that it, for in two months, I grew this Facebook group to almost 900 people of people who want what I have. Like if you're, if you don't want funnels, if you don't want, um, if you don't want to learn strategy, if you don't want to learn multiple income streams, you're probably not in this group, right? So it's no mystery that sales are easy for me now, right? Because this group of 900 people and the, and the people who are coming in by the boatloads are attracted to me because I understand those four questions. Okay. My funnels, my ads, my content, they, talk to the people just like the people who are in this Facebook group, right? It's no mystery that they're, that they perform well. So does that make sense? Is that? Yes. Okay. So this is, this is, this is what, what makes, this is what makes all the difference. This is what makes your funnels perform well. This is what makes the difference on between chasing people and having people come out, come to you. It will get there sooner. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get, Layla says, I want a thousand before the end of the, of the third month. 
Yeah, it's going to get there because this, it's like happening on autopilot now. I have people recommending me in other Facebook groups. I, I mean, I have people reaching out to me. And it's, it's because I got really clear on those four questions. So let's recap, okay? Who is your dream client specifically or your customer? Whatever it is that your business does, whatever you have for sale, right? Who do you want to come buy it? Specifically, who do you want to come buy it? Number one, right? Number two, where can you find those dreamy people? Where are they already hanging out? What vehicles are they already in? What things have they tried and failed before? Who do they follow? What books do they read? Okay, where can you find them? Because I guarantee that they are hanging out together. Number three, how can you get their attention? How can you hook them and pull them away from what they're already doing to come and check your stuff out? Okay. How do you do that? Your story, your mission, your va provide value and results, right? And then number four, and this is the, the, the most important of all, now that you know who your, your dream client is, where you can find them and how you can get their attention, what can you ultimately, what do you ultimately want for them? Like what results do you want for your clients, okay? Those are the four questions you have to master. And once you do that, you don't have to chase people anymore. <laughs> you just don't. You literally get to say who you want to work with and who you don't. And that's a magical place to be, a, a place where you, you jump out of bed on Monday to work instead of um, like dreading showing up, like a place where you don't get burnt out, a place where you can start to scale, a place where like it feels good to come to work, right? Okay, does, does that make sense? Like, you guys let me know if this was helpful. Hopefully, sorry about the technical issues, sorry about the low volume, and I guess I went in and out, but let me know, is this helpful? Like, give me some hearts, let me know if, if give me some love, you guys, if this is helpful, because I, I really do want for everyone who's here in this group to get results. Like, I really want that. <laughs> I want it so much, and so I want to know that I'm providing you value, whether you ever give me a dollar or not. Leslie says, number two is my struggle for figuring out where to find them. Okay, very helpful. Thank you all. I love the hearts. Um, so Leslie, if you're, if you're struggling out where, struggling where to find your dream people, make sure you've got really clear, like absolute clarity on who your perfect people are, what they're struggling with. Okay, focus on what they're struggling with, where they want to go, and then it becomes easy, right? So we get extra clarity there. And if you need some help brainstorming, I will help you with that. Rosie says, as always, you're incredible. Oh, I love you, Rosie. Lynette, yes, this is such a great video. I have even more clarity on my message. Yes. Christine says, yes, very helpful. Hey, Frank. Thanks for joining, man. I haven't talked to you in a while. Hi, Dina. Love the hearts. Thank you. Okay. So you guys, um, so that's your, your homework for the week is to get absolute clarity on those four questions and then really just lean into it be okay with repelling people be okay with polarizing your audience be okay with with attracting only the people who are your tribe okay when you the more clear and the more okay you are with that the more they will flock to you like I, I'm living proof of that in the last two months okay since since I have gone through this this process in the One Funnel Away Challenge, I've gotten like all that twenty five thousand dollars that I spent last year. I still didn't get it. I didn't get it until you know I I, I went through this eye opening experience, and now it's like it's all come together. So those four questions, get them down, and be okay with saying no. Like I just told someone no the other day. I was like, I don't think you're ready, <laughs> right? Because I'm just okay with it now okay okay let's so see Lynette says yes pulling out polarizing your audience is okay so important yes absolutely okay you guys so that was uh, today's message I hope I'm glad to hear that it was helpful and let me know just drop your questions below if you've got them and I'll come back and, and check on them and if you haven't watched the webinar from last week it's still in the group because I'm getting a lot of messages saying they want to don't take it down I'm, I want to watch it I want my friends to watch it so Go ahead and go watch it if you haven't. It was really, really cool. Um, I got some great feedback on it. So I'll leave it up there for a while, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. You're welcome, Dina. All right, you guys have an amazing rest of your Monday, and I will be back next week uh, with another uh, topic that I hope will be super helpful for you guys.